Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today we're going to talk about five cool things that you should try out if you get one of the Samsung Galaxy S23 devices. So the first one that I want to talk about is one built inside of your phone settings, and this is where you're able to use Bixby to answer calls for you, basically screen the calls. And so all you have to do is go inside of your phone application. On the very top right hand side, you click on those three dots, which takes you inside of menu, and this is where you want to go inside of settings. And the option is right there pretty much towards the very top. It's called Bixby Text Call. So it's using text to screen and basically answer questions or ask questions for you to see who is calling, why they are calling, and then depending on what they say and also what you input, then you can either answer or reject the call. So it just states right here, calls are answered automatically and responses you type or tap are read aloud. You see the conversation in a text chat but can't hear it. The caller hears an automated voice. And now through here, this is where you can choose which voice you would like to use. You can see that I have three of them sitting there. Originally, there's only one, but you can go there, you can add another voice. You can see that the other two I downloaded is from there. I can download the fourth voice right here. Uh, you just basically get it installed. And then you just go inside of that past screen that we just saw right here. And this is where you choose which voice you would like to have read the text aloud to the person who's calling you. And then down here are some quick responses. You can delete them, change the order of them. You can add some in, you can edit them, and then you can also just add your own. So if someone is calling you, maybe you're busy, you can't answer it, uh, you'd be able to screen it and basically state, I can't talk right now, I'll call you back later. Now, if there's anything that you would like to add in, you can add in a quick response. You can give it a shortcut name, and then the full response. And that's what you see here, shortcut name, response, the shortcut name, response. So this way, when you see those little shortcut names pop up on the screen uh, down over here, this is where you can choose one of those responses to put inside of that text chat. And then again, choose if you'd like to answer or not. Feature number two that you should definitely try out is one that's built inside of your gallery. This is where you're able to extract an image. So it's a image clipper. So what you're able to do is you can take a picture of something and then you can extract an object from it. So let's say you take a picture of something you want to put on a t-shirt or a PowerPoint. You can use it for casual business, whatever it may be. Um, all you'd have to do is find that object in the picture and you want to do a press and hold. Now, as you press and hold it, you can kind of move it around, let go. You have three options. You can copy this, and so this way you can paste it somewhere else immediately. You can share it if you want to share it via an email or text or whatever it may be. Maybe this is the only thing that you want to send to them uh, without everything else. You can get it that way, and or you can uh, save it as an image. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like as an image, again, that you'd be able to pretty much do anything you want. And it's really just a magnetized clip that goes around the entire object. And it does a very, very good job. Even this picture here where it wasn't even the best lighting scenario, it did a great job with clipping it. If you swipe up, this is where you'd be able to see where uh, the original picture is. And you can tap on this. It'll take you to the original image. Uh, basically, this is just letting you know that this is a clipped image from here. There's really not much camera info because you didn't really take it with the camera. If you go back to the original image, you can get all of the camera info. It appears when you did it, uh, the name of the image, it is a PNG, and then where it is stored. And you can also always edit those things as well. You can add in a tag if you want to find it faster, but this is pretty cool. You're able to clip an image you know, from a picture, saved as a PNG, and then you can do pretty much whatever you would like to do with it. Feature number three that you should definitely try out at least once is going to be astrophotography. So even if you're somebody who is not really into going outside at night, taking pictures of stars and moons, you know, originally from beforehand, you wouldn't really get the best images from just taking pictures of stars. But now with the Galaxy S23 series, basically Samsung One UI 5.1, because even if you own the Galaxy S22 series device with 5.1 on it, you do have astrophotography that's inside of Expert RAW. So the other thing I want to mention with 5.1 is that Expert RAW is now part of your camera modes. So this way you don't have to go to the Galaxy Store just to download another Samsung application to get it done. It's going to be inside of here. It's just another mode. Then you click on the very, very top where you can see this little constellation and a couple stars. You tap this and that's your astrophotography. And again, it's pretty cool. This one I would definitely show. So my phone is pointing down, which is showing me a couple constellations. But if you are walking outside, as you're walking, moving your phone around, you're able to point it in different directions. You can see what different constellations. It'll show you Mars, Uranus, a whole bunch of really cool things. And so this way you know exactly what you're taking a picture of. And then you also have the duration line here. You can take a picture for four minutes, seven minutes, or 10 
10 minutes kind of depends on how much you know of detail you would like to get another thing that i would also highly suggest is when you're taking pictures let's say you take a picture of the sky uh try to have something within frame that you're able to light up like maybe a tent you could light up or trees or grass or a pole, anything, just shine a light at it. It'll give really good contrast versus the stars. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about here in a minute. And if it was me going back out there again, which I will do on my next time taking pictures outside, I'm gonna take a flashlight with me and shine something because you'll see a massive difference. So again, astrophotography built with inside of Expert Raw. Click that top, uh, you know, on the very top up there. Everything is already set up for you to get this done. You just set it up on a tripod um, or a little grip stand, whatever you want it to, you know, however you want to take pictures. Then you just set it for four, seven, or ten minutes. So as an example of what I took from before, so this one is just middle of absolutely nowhere, completely dark. You know, I can go inside of Lightroom and actually bring this down and get some really good shots out of this. So when you take pictures inside of Expert Raw, you have Lightroom sitting right here. So you don't have to use the dedicated, you know, Samsung Gallery app to edit. Uh, you know, here's another option too. It doesn't really look the best. You can kind of see it's blown out a little bit. Again, if you go inside of Lightroom, small baby tweaks will be able to make it look amazing but here you can see where it looks even better and it's because it's contrasted with this thing over here that was slightly lit up now if you have something like this in your image you're able to get some really good pictures so what i would say is on this bottom area if you could put in trees and light it up with a flashlight or if there was a tent sitting right here and then the sky up over here you're going to have a really good result and i'll give examples of that later on with future videos Feature number four that you should definitely take a look at is going to be inside of the camera, but you have to download something first. Inside the Galaxy Store, search for Camera Assistant. Now, Camera Assistant, you're able to use on past Samsung One UI you know, user interfaces, but it works better and there's more features on 5.1, which is what the Galaxy S23 series has out of the box. Also, Galaxy S22 devices is getting pushed up that update. Same thing with the Z Fold 4 and the Flip 4. Uh, and also the Galaxy S21 and the S20. So all those devices will get the camera assistant. Um, but once you get camera assistant downloaded from the Galaxy Store, it'll be placed inside of your camera settings. It's going to be right here. You don't have to open up another application. It's built within the camera settings. And so down in here, what you're able to play with, I mean, you can play with a bunch of these and I'm not going to cover all of them. I have another video that covers all of them, but a couple things for you to try out, something that will definitely be beneficial is going to be this one right here and this one right here and this one right here. So basically you're able to dim your screen after recording. So this is something that was built into the Google Pixel devices that I loved. When you hit record on the camera, uh, you're doing a video. After a minute or two, it'll actually dim the screen. It's going to keep on recording, but it's going to save your battery life without it being you know, bright. So if you're definitely recording something for a long period of time, you might as well just have the screen dim. So this way you're able to save battery, but still get whatever you're shooting. Another one will be the camera timeout. Again, something to save with the battery. So sometimes you just set your phone down. It's within camera. Camera could take a lot of your battery. So after a minute of it being opened, it'll just automatically turn off. So it's going to time out the camera, go back to your home screen, and then now it's gonna, the phone will time out whatever you have it set to, if it's a minute or two minutes, whatever the case. And then this one right here, this is just where if you wanted to do it for fun, when you go inside of your camera and you turn on your timer and you set it to either off two second, five second, or 10 second, then you can actually have multiple images being taken. And you can also set the intervals in between. So originally by default, you would just set it up as one picture being taken after two seconds or five seconds. Now you can do five pictures with an interval in between each of those that you set. You can do one second, one and a half, two, two and a half or three. So basically if you wanted to change faces, you want to make a bunch of different faces for five different pictures or maybe uh, five different poses, you wouldn't have to keep going back and forth and doing it. Um, so you can do, you know, seven pictures with three seconds in between. So this way you have enough time to set up your next shot your next pose, your next facial feature or whatever face you're making. So you can do that. So those are three things I wanted to show off inside of camera assistant. Like, you know, there's a few other things you can change your capture speed, but more than likely you would like to prioritize your quality anyways, which is what it's set up to automatically. You know, you can change one to try if you want to, you know, maybe balance the speed and quality. You're going to lose a little bit of quality, but you're going to gain a little bit of speed with the shutter button. So for me personally, I like prioritize quality, but camera assistant is something pretty cool to play with these ones right here. Uh, I'm just going to set this one right back to where I would probably 
normally use it two seconds for three pictures and then this fifth one that you might want to try uh you know first off when it comes to me personally i don't really use a lot of bixby routines or anything like that especially with me just being at home anyways stay at home father through the day youtuber at night i'm still at the same location well, you can change your wallpaper of what it looks like per any of these routines. And it's pretty nice because you don't have to go all through the Bixby settings, setting things up, doing this, doing that. It's actually just right there. It's inside of the quick settings. Uh, so basically, if you pull it down twice, you could swipe over. Here is your modes. Uh, and so now you can set one up. You can even add a mode. So I'm just going to add one. I'm going to call it work. Uh, so what you can do is you can hit on start. And let's say we just do time period. So for work, let's say that you, you know, from sunrise to sunset, or you can set a time, whatever you want, or you can set a location. Um, so here's the start date or the start time, end time. So I'm just going to hit on done. And so next, and from here, you can do like this, do, you know, do not disturb. So this way, if you're at work, you're not going to get personal things. Uh, you can, uh, you know, is anybody allowed to call you, text you, app notifications? Do you want them or not? Uh, basically, when you hit on next, Let's see, and with this one, maybe sound mode and volume, I'm gonna have, make sure my phone is on mute, uh, ringtone is on mute as well, or you can just put everything as vibrate. Uh, and then you just hit on done, let's see here. And so now what's gonna happen is you can turn this one on, it's gonna do everything that you set it up to, but here's the new part. You can set a wallpaper for what mode. So when you're at work, you can have a different wallpaper set up than if you were at home or if you were at the gym. So if you have an image that motivates you that you would like to take a look at every single time to remind you what you need to do, then you can do that for exercise. So open up exercise, set up everything, um, and then you can change that wallpaper to something that motivates you. So next up, let's say we take a look at relax. Now inside of relax, I can turn this one on or it'll turn on automatically. This one's right now set up for the house. You know, I can have different wallpapers, whatever I want it to show. Now, let's say that maybe you wanted to, you know, edit things. You can go through, you can tap on any of these, you can edit it, or on the very top, you can just simply delete it. So if you like to delete that option, so now it's completely gone. Uh, if you wanted to add that one back in, you can just add in relax and that's it. Or you can make one that's fully customizable. So it's kind of cool that you can set your phone to do different things at where you're at. It just happens to be that on Samsung when you Wi-Fi 5.1, they added in different wallpapers for where you're at, what you're doing to kind of set up your mood, you know, things like that. So those are five different things that I think that you guys should definitely try out if you have the Samsung Galaxy S23 device. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.